here with my January 2020 plan with me. Ah, oh, it's so crazy to say that, but I am so excited to start on the first month in this new bullet journal. For January, I wanted to do a theme for New Year's Eve, but I wanted to do something more than just fireworks. I saw this really adorable phone case designed by Kate Spade, and I was so inspired by it that I thought I would just translate it straight onto my bullet journal. You can honestly find inspiration from anywhere and anything, whether it be in a picture or even on a phone case just like this, or if you see something online or out in nature. I hope you guys like how this theme turned out. I personally really love it, and I'm glad I was able to start this new journal with these good vibes. Anyways, let's just jump right into the video. So for my cover page, I doodled a bunch of little bubbly champagne flutes and cocktail glasses, some little star drink mixing sticks, some confetti ribbons, and little fireworks. I tried to use different shaped glasses and added little polka dot patterns to some, and I also included a stack of three tiny berries on a stick in some of the cocktails. I wrote out January using faux calligraphy since calligraphy with a brush pen is definitely something I'm still trying to work on and improve. And I wrote out a little monthly calendar at the bottom. So for the colors, I went with five different Tombow dual brush pens and the exact colors will be listed down below. I used a goldish yellow for the cocktail sticks and to outline the fireworks. And then I used four different shades of pink a super light peachy pink, a slightly darker pale blush pink, a bright hot pink, and a bright reddish pink color. I used the two lightest pinks to fill in the drinks, and I used the two darker pinks to color in the ribbons. And just to fill in some empty space, I drew a bunch of small confetti circles around the page and filled them in with the four different pink colors. Moving on to my calendar spread, I wrote January in the top left corner using my Micron 2 pen. On the left side of the page, I threw in my monthly notes or to-do section, and then I filled out my calendar, giving each day its own individual 5x5 box. At the top, I went ahead and doodled all of the little drinks, ribbons, and fireworks, and for the note section bullet points, I used the same little star design as I did for those cocktail sticks. In the bottom right corner, I filled that empty space by drawing two little champagne flutes with pop, fizz, and clink written around them in these cute font styles. Again, I used faux calligraphy on all of the text. I think using faux calligraphy in my 2020 bullet journal setup made me realize how much I like the way it looks compared to my regular brush calligraphy. So you'll see me using this faux calligraphy throughout this month for the most part. I used the same colors to fill in the doodles, and I striped my note section with the lightest peachy pink color. And to give this page some more color, I added drop shadows to all of the calendar boxes, alternating between all five of the markers. I absolutely love how this turned out. It gave the page a pretty pop of color without being too over the top. And now onto my trackers, which I am totally obsessed with. To represent the countdown for the new year, I decided to make my mood tracker into this big clock design. So I created four circles. I think for the biggest one, I used like a cop to help outline. And then I just tried my best to freehand the other ones and they came out all right. <laughs> In the center, I drew the two clock hands almost hitting midnight and I divided 32 little sections for the days just because it's easier dividing into even numbers and afterwards I just filled in the top one with a star. Right underneath the dates, I drew in these bigger Roman numeral numbers so it looks like the face of a clock. And fun side note, while I was making this doodle, I was using a picture of an actual clock as a reference and I only just realized that 
Clocks use four lines for four instead of the actual Roman numeral symbol, the one V. While drawing this, I was actually stumped when I got to four and I had to Google it to make sure I wasn't going crazy. But yeah, I thought that was interesting to learn. Let me know if any of you already knew that. But anyways, moving on, I just doodled a bunch of ribbons and fireworks bursting out around the clock. I decided to leave the drinks out and I'm glad that I did because I think it would have been a little too much on these tracker pages. And then at the very bottom, I added these five little balloons to show my mood colors and I think they look so cute with the little faces in them. To color everything in, I just used the gold for the fireworks and the inside of the clock and I used the two darkest pinks for the ribbons. For the habit tracker, I copied those little balloon ideas I drew for my mood tracker page and just made them bigger here. I thought it brought the theme together quite nicely, so in pencil, I first wrote out the calendars so I knew how big the balloons had to be, and there was enough space at the very bottom of the balloons to write out my habits. I also made little bows at the bottom of each balloon and had the string twirling down towards the bottom of the page. And to match the same vibe as the other page, I only doodled the fireworks and ribbons again. To color in the balloons, you can use different colors if you want, but I decided to just go with the muted blush pink color since it wasn't too bright and in your face. First, I outlined the shape of the calendar and then just colored in all around it. Now onto my first weekly spread, I made these 10 by 10 boxes, leaving a gap at the top and bottom. Since the month starts on a Wednesday, I only needed 6 boxes total, one extra box for a note section. In the top gap, I wrote the first letter of the days of the week using this cool serif font style, and in the bottom gap, I wrote out the date numbers. Then I filled the background with little fireworks blasting up from the bottom of the page, and the only color I needed for the spread was the gold to fill in the text and to outline the fireworks. I thought the box lines needed to be a little thicker, so I used my Tombow Furunosuke hard tip brush pen and just went over them again, and I like how this turned out much better. For the second week, I used faux calligraphy to write out the first letter for each day and I finished writing the rest out with a normal uppercase style and I also used faux calligraphy for the numbers as well. Then to help divide each section, I doodled in the ribbon confetti to the edge of the page. I alternated between the bright red pink and the hot pink for the ribbons and to fill in the faux calligraphy. And that's it for the first two weeks. They were both super easy peasy to do. For the third and fourth weeks, I combined their layouts instead of making a separate one for each week. So first I started by sectioning off the middle and I doodled all of the little cocktails, star drink sticks, ribbons, and fireworks inside. Taking the lightest peachy pink color, I striped all of my date sections down both sides of the pages and on top of the stripes, I'm finally doing my brush calligraphy, making sure to include a little note section at the bottom. And then I just colored in the rest of the doodles. Finally, onto my last weekly spread, in the bottom left corner, I made this doodle of a champagne tower. So I started off by drawing a little bottle pouring bubbly champagne, and I made sure to draw in all of the bubbly foam first, making sure they drip down the sides of the glasses before drawing in the actual glasses underneath the foam. Using my Tombow Fudenosuke heart tip brush pen again, I wrote the first letter for each day down the page. And then I drew in a big black dot where I'll write the date numbers on top with my Posca white marker. 
Above the doodle, I threw in my note section, and to give this page some color, I used the muted blush pink to make a line next to each day and to stripe the note section. I used the same blush pink to color in the champagne bottle. Then I used the lightest peachy pink for the bottle label and for the foamy bubble parts. To color in the little bottle details and the stars, I just used the goldish yellow color. And since this month has 5 weeks, I found that I had an extra blank page, so I decided to add in a little fun doodle quote page. I drew a big champagne bottle with a little ribbon design at the base of the bottle neck. For the bottle label, I wrote sip sip hooray <laughs> and filled the empty space with little triangle, circle, and star shapes. To color everything in, I used the light peach pink for the bottle, the gold for the label details and text, the bright reddish pink for the ribbons, and the blush pink to shade in the bottle cap. And that is it for my January plan with me. I absolutely love how festive this month's theme turned out. I think the mood and habit trackers have become one of my all-time favorite spreads that I've ever done. If you decide to recreate any of these spreads, please tag me on Instagram at AFZXX3 to be featured in my next video. I can't wait to see them. I hope you all had an amazing time celebrating the holidays, and I hope you have fun and stay safe ringing in the new year. I'll see you all next time. Bye!